Thanks for joining us on the TVC Midday News. It's day five of flood that ravaged Brno State water is gradually receding. Residents of Medoguri can now have, uh, have access to other parts of the state. Though the flood damaged the main bridge in Medoguri, which connects people to other parts of the state, reconstruction has since commenced to enable people to have access to their business places. Most shops and other businesses have started to open as people continue to count their losses. TVC News Senior Reporter Jesse Tafida is standing by to bring us an update on the situation at the moment. Jesse, um, earlier you spoke with us about the uh, situation there coming from the fact that the, the bridge um, on the road that you spoke to us in the early bulletin. Now, what's happening? What is the state government doing about um, creating an atmosphere where people can continue to go back to work? What is the state government doing to ensure that this situation is um, ameliorated? Thank you very much, Theophilus. Uh, earlier on, I, I just briefed our uh, viewers that uh, people can, are now having access to the main town. Uh, it is also good to note that uh, before now, there are some areas which the flood did not affect. But because the bridge is affected, they have been in their homes. But since Tuesday till today, this is where, when they can now come out of their homes and access um, their shops and other uh, business uh, stuff they do. The problem now is most of the shops were submerged because the metropolis have been submerged. So most of the shops are submerged. Now people are coming out counting their losses. Um, uh, we have, I have friends that most of their shops have been submerged. Uh, they, 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 they take care of uh, laptops, phones. All those have been lost inside the water. And uh, we could see from there, some of them cannot even speak to the TVC because of what they're going through. Uh, it's really devastating. But all the shops were not affected, and that is why uh, from the clips you could see, uh, we could see food items out there. The problem is that the prices of food items is going up. And that is what the residents are now complaining of. Those that were not affected are now out to go and get something to eat, something to buy. But uh, food prices is up. For example, now a mood of one mood of rice is, is goes for one well, four thousand naira. Uh, a, a packet of, of pasta goes for two thousand naira. People cannot afford this uh, because the main market itself is submerged, and they want authorities to, as a matter of urgency, try to intervene because this is pushing people into another food crisis. Yes, it is, and of course, uh, it might affect the entirety of. Uh, the country, seeing that um, uh, food comes from those areas as well. But uh, for the state governor, we've also seen that many state governments have been visiting the state governor, of course, like you reported yesterday, Aliko Dangote, uh, pledging about 2 billion naira to rehabilitation efforts there. Um, what more is the state governor doing to ensure that this doesn't happen again? And now, the flood is as a result of the collapse of Alo Dam. Yeah. Alo Dam is a big reservoir that the entire water is from Meiduguri. The water coming from uh, outside Meiduguri uh, from, to Meiduguri gathers there. And the collapse of the bridge is as a result of influx of water. And uh, experts have said that due to climate change, that is why we're getting so much rain. And because the reservoir cannot contain the, the level of water there, it broke, it collapsed, and then water flew, uh, overflew into the state capital. And that is why most of people, people in Brno State are affected. Now, the state government is putting measures in place uh, to ensure that this has not um, occurred again. According to Brno State Governor Baba Ganazulum, um, experts are already on, on site to see how they can avert the situation and the, and, and, uh, uh, from the dam. Yesterday, the state government received the Minister for Environment, which he says is going to put all, they're going to put all hands on deck as the president has given them a marching order to come together and ensure that this thing is being averted. Let's talk about people that are victims of the flood. Um, search and rescue operation continues and people continue to go to camps. And main problem, main problem there is Food, getting access to food. Although the state government is uh, country, putting a lot of contributions to cook food for them, it is not enough. Mm. People are still starving. People are not having the patience to wait for their turn. You see them rushing to, to, to get the, uh, 
the food. And at the end of the day, a lot of them will not get anything, especially children and the aged. Mm -hmm. uh, there are farms around some of the IDP camps. You could see the victims going to the farms, plugging out for a not. They just want to get something to eat. Uh, development partners have continued to also complement the effort of the government. But the situation is overwhelming because when you go to camps, you will see a lot of children that they, they've not seen their parents uh, because of the flood. Everyone was running, uh, campaigning for safety, uh, trying to go to safer places. And you could see unaccompanied children, you could see parents uh, lamenting that they've not seen their children. Uh, they, they are hungry, the camps are overcrowded. Even the new camps that were opened yesterday are now overcrowded, and the situation is really overwhelming. But the state government have continued to receive donations from individuals, just as it mentioned. Uh, CEO of Jangote Group, Aliko Jangote, pledged 2 billion naira. Um, the governor of Adamawa State uh, gave 50 million naira. And uh, the former governor of Borno State, Ali Modu Sharif, also uh, donated 100 million naira. The state government continues to get money. Even the federal government has um, issued uh, three, uh, given 3 billion naira to the state government to cater the needs of the victims. And more support is coming, according to the vice president, when he visited Bajuguri to ascertain the level of damage caused by the flood. So he, according to him, President Paul Atinobo is doing all he yeah. can to, to bring um, relief, to bring soccer to the victims. Uh, according to the vice president also, a uh, truck loads of food are on their way to Bajuguri right. to give out to the victims as they've lost everything. All right. All right, Jesse, thank you very much. We do hope that... Um, the rescue efforts or the humanitarian efforts will be um, heightened so people can go back to their daily lives. Thank you so much for talking to us on this.